<laughs> well, hello, hello, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. I'm gonna try to finish the game today. Let's see how it goes. The last stretch. We are back in the amusement park. I got the key for the for the roller coaster, so I'm guessing I have to open that and turn the the power off. And there's two long arms here, so I need to <clears throat> run. Back to the nightmare. Holy shit. So maybe the 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 nightmare we had at the beginning of the game it was a premonition. Yeah, this game is so loud. <laughs> is it loud for you guys? How you guys hear me? Hello. <laughs> getting, getting. What the hell is that? Thing? This must be some gadget to control a roller coaster. I don't know how to make it work, though. There's a power switch on the left-hand side. Push it! Push it! Himself. Oh, health rings. I needed that. What the hell is this? I guess it could be someone's leg. Dude. Let's go. <clears throat> They're always loud, but... Yeah, there are parts that should be louder, but I hope it's balanced at least. The cinematics and the characters' dialogues are very low, though. I'm not sure how to balance that. So it's the same thing gonna happen. It was around here, right? Oh. It turned on! QTEs, like in uh, Resident Evil games. I'm gonna have a QTE now to dodge it. <laughs> Jump! Yeah. Yeah, happy Sotic. I, I haven't even seen that game. I'm, I wanna play it myself. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Have you played. Find the girl, and you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Says you. Deceived because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah, what's going to happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep. Oh! Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. Oh, shit. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Oh. 
They didn't show us what happens. I love how these sect, cultists, religious people are always like, you have been brainwashed. Have they ever looked at the mirror and considered they have been being brainwashed? Because they talk like they have the absolute truth. We landed here. At least we didn't die. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm guessing we are a different part of the amusement park. It's music, though. Let's see. Tickets. This is a new track we've never heard before in the game. I'm guessing I still don't have a map for this area. Where is this place? Haunted Mansion. Yikes. A haunted mansion, huh? Popcorn. There is nothing here. We just have to go here. Oh, there was a sign out there. Whatever. Borley Haunted Mansion. And we're in an amusement park after all. We're gonna have some kind of attraction like this. <clears throat> Can't save here. Door. <coughs> oh man. I need to be very careful and look for resources because we don't have many heals or bullets. So let's keep our eyes open. Are we guys ready? I think we're ready. We are ready. Help! Help! It's okay. She's scary on purpose. There's nothing scary. Really scary. I felt I had to. Anyway, I'm lying. <laughs> it's all just a joke. Self setting. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died by suicide. Ooh. <laughs> I love how the camera stays there. Let's go. There's a clock here. Clock isn't working. I don't know if it's broken or it's just for decoration. Help. Okay, let's keep going through the haunted mansion. No, I don't care. Wait, what did you say? The hanging man is blocking the way. Oh, I had a lot of more comments. But every time I skip all the dialogues, expecting she's gonna repeat them. She says something like, it looks real. It's not part of the haunted mansion. It's so crazy to put this part of the game as in like, you're going through real horror stuff and now they put something like, it's fictional. Right? In an amusement park, but at the same time, it's part real too. So it's kind of creepy. Uh, 
this is a doll sitting in a, in a chair. So, oh, this is open now. This was locked before. This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Okay. Just got smoke in my throat. I got the fog in my throat, man. How do I know if the floor is gonna fall or not? Oh shit. Looks like a trap. Hmm. Is there a camera watching me? No, there's a lamp. Should I run? I don't know what to do here. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, <laughs> I assure you. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> so that trap should have not stopped there. Should have killed me. I'm not sure if this is part of the of the scare elements anymore of there actually there's the exit i hope you enjoyed your tour please <laughs> come back anytime they're playing with your or mind if you prefer we could come and visit you instead sure come on visit me baby ah, that was supposed to be the exit but it seems that no one wants you to be everyone Bro, the red light was coming for me. So now we have to run. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They're playing with the camera angles. I think I, I wanted to check the door. Did I take too much damage? I did take a lot of damage. Ouch. Well, bye-bye, health rings. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the red light. Oh, it's coming again. It's coming again. Let me alone! There is some movie where they do this, right? I forgot the name. How long do I have to do this for? Oh shit. I think we're out. Move, Heather. Where to go? This path is blocked. This way? Oh man. Oh man. Not the dogs. Let's put some meat for the dogs. Let's feed the dogs. Let's go for the meat. There is a door there. Let's put more meat. Just in case. We're going to the carousel. No time for playing around stuff like this. What do you mean, Heather? You just ride it. Ride it. It's the carousel. She's looking at something. This column here. Wouldn't that work? Wouldn't it return or something? Let's go through this other gate then. Let's put some mud meat here. I have a lot of uh, 
beep cherry beat, so. Yeah. Oh man, I hate this place. The, the noises, the enemies all around you. So fucking creepy. Get the get the thing! Get the thing! There is something next to the bunnies, buddy. I think it was armor or something, but I couldn't see. Should I go back and check? Uh, this one looks a, a bit more chill. There is an item there. There's some notes on the floor. What are, where are these notes? It's a flyer for, for a musical. There's nothing interesting about it. Okay. This looks like a stage. What is this? A chain. A chain. Maybe we can put that on the carousel. I want some pop popcorn game. Come on. Is there any resources here? I see a shoe. There's a shoe there. The blood carousel was uh, what the gargoyles was a reference to. I didn't see any gargoyles. I don't know. What is this shoe, though? Red shoe. I'm confusion. Confusion. Oh, look at this. Shotgun shells and a health ring. Let's go. That's big. That's big. That's big. <laughs> Let me inspect this. One shoe, blood red. It was above the stage. It's too small for me to wear. Not that I will want to. Hooks on both hands. Looks pretty sturdy. Mm. That's so random. Ouch. There's nothing. He had a red thing next to him, but it was not armor. Okay. I need to heal again, man. Well, bye bye, health drink. So, should I try to put the chain here? What is the shoe for, though? Where do I put the other hook? Attach the chain to the column. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Right? Mm. Here? I had to use it twice. Where do I put the other... Here? I don't know, man. Nope. Where should I put the other hook? You can't combine the shoe. Oh, maybe to this door to just fucking rip it open, right? Eh, yeah, makes sense. Now I have to turn it on, though. Oh, this is open? What the hell? How did I not see this before? Switch is off. Turn it on, yes. So now we're gonna open that door. There you go. Bye. Right. Opening new ways. Oh. Douglas. You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. It's broken. What happened to Douglas? Did he I'll shoot Claudia? What? I don't think we'll come. True. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You... You, you old fool! Getting yourself...
yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Oh, well, now you worry about it. Why huh? did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? Oh. What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. What? But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. <laughs> Besides, yeah. it wants a purpose. You, you don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. Remind me of my son. Hmm? You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. Oof. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Hmm. <laughs> Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. What are you doing? You gonna shoot her? What are you doing? She knows. Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Wow. Yeah, you might be right. Damn, Heather is cold. Wow, the fact that he even tried to attempt that that's crazy. But she's self aware that she's part of this happening. Also, it's very interesting how they give this backstory for Douglas' son. At the end of the day, Silent Hill always attracts people or like calls for people or keeps people. Who in some way or another has some kind of guilt or some backstory to explain there in Silent Hill, right? They are not like innocent or random people with no purpose to be there. So that's why that's why Douglas has been dragged into this all this happening. Very interesting. I'm gonna talk to him though. As you can tell, Heather is a sweetheart at the bottom, but at the same time, she has to keep that high guard, 
she has to keep that wall for like strangers and everything she knows from her past Don't die on me, okay? and for what happened to his her father too he just died so he, he she, she's like she's super sweet and she cares for people but at the same time she has to be strong and not let her guard down it's very nice uh, i just love her character every line she says her movements the 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 graphics are so good for 2003. have you read the manga called chino wadachi trail of blood in english i think i heard of that but i never read it trail of blood that sounds familiar i think I have, i've seen that someone mentioned that on a youtube channel or youtube video or something fortune house what about this one though this is open Ooh. What about this one? Both are open. Okay, this looks like a safe room, so. Reading time. Is it good, the fiber customer? Have you read it? Client, Claudia Wolf. Request, searching for the infant, Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. So maybe this is what the Douglas got for his detective work. The, this is the... The work. No war from police. Kidnap location unknown. All Silent Hill newspaper article. Alessi Gillespie 7 dead in, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated. Priority low. Using alias Heather. Neighbors do not know her real name. What is she hiding? Yeah, this may be Douglas notebook. Exactly. Hmm. A doll head. Yikes. This symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. It still makes me feel creepy though, like someone peeking into my brain. Okay. So we got a doll head or face or something. I just read it. I was pretty good. I think a Sand Hill fan could appreciate it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it in mind. I need to write it down, though. What the hell is this place? Says no white doll. Cinderella doll. There are photos on the ground. What is this? Okay. Oh, the red sh the shoe and the doll face. Okay, okay. So I have to put those items there. Are these photos of those dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right. But something's wrong. So Snow White is holding the doll and the Cinderella is holding the shoe. It makes sense. It's part of the stories, right? Oh, you can see the mark even there. Cinderella, you lost your shoe. It's midnight. Then here we put the the dwarf. Okay. Did that do anything? Okay, we cannot go that way. For any Silent Hill fan, if you haven't, I would highly recommend. What the hell is that thing? Is that a dinosaur? Guardian treasure? Oh, this looks like fun, fun, fun fear. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. This is a prop and not scary at all. Guards the sh the treasure. Yeah, for any Silent Hill uh, fan, I would recommend watching the movie Jacob's Ladder. Such a good movie, and it's. It came before any Silent Hill game, and you can tell the the team Team Silent Hill got a lot of inspiration from it, like a lot.
Oh, what the fuck? Go over there. What? This is like the Silent Hill 1 saving spot. What? Dali is the one who said it. Said that girl was a demon. That she took my daughter for a sacrifice. Wait, is this a note from Harry? But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that what I, why I feel this way? Stuff is not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this. But I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl is what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I have got her back. There is a date and a signature at the end. It is dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. What? Wow, that's a very cool easter egg. The movie is called Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder. Very good movie. We're doing really bad on ammo. Five bullets. Okay, so we go with the pistol. Oh, I've seen that. Got it on DVD. Really good. Yeah. Very, very good. What is that thing? Another carousel. Any healers? Any bullets? Everything seems to be blocked. We have a dream here, right? Oh. It's moving. Or... This horse is alive. Well, alive might not be the word for it. It's not ordinary carousel horse. It's not made of wood or plastic. I don't know, but it's just kind of strange, that's all. This one is not moving. This horse is the only one not moving. Is is it because it was stabbed in the head? This is a memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill it for your kill, you will be saved by the 12th dead. What? Wait, what? 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 Am I dying? Do I need to kill the horses? One. So I need to kill... I need to be fast, though. I'm dead, I'm dead. I took too long. I think. Yeah, it took too long. This is how it. Doing too many turns already. Why do I need to kill the horses? I'm tired, man. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Is that faster? <laughs> I'm still done though. Should I use this instead? How many more horses do I have to kill? 
Nah, the Katani's faster. They had to kill 12, I think, right? What is this like? I don't I didn't remember this at all. Like at all. How many did I kill already, guys? I haven't keep count. I haven't keep count, guys. No time to count. Kill them all. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no. What happened? I think I fucked up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello? What? What is happening? Uh oh. Uh oh, that's... Evil Alessa, Heather, Cheryl, evil version? Oh no. We're gonna have to fight ourselves. Our other health, I guess. I don't know. How does this fight work? Look at how she moves. So creepy. She has a knife. Wait, what? Where's she going? She's gonna run too. What is this horse? I see. Going to kill her. This is like the fight with Sybil, where there is a way to save her. The perfume? This talisman. It has an old design describing it. I got it after. I may use this on her, maybe. I don't think so. Perfect. Perfect. Not this. Well, I don't know. Ooh. I missed. I think I missed again. Ouch. Holy shit. How many more batteries do I have for this? Seven. Ooh, she's down. What? Round two? She has a fucking gun! She has a revolver like the nurses. Oh man. No! Okay, you know what? Fuck it. She can't cover? What happened with Sybil in Silent Hill 1? I didn't see it. So I used the red liquid on her. The demon got out of her. And then at the end of the game, she escaped with Harry, with the baby. They, they were both together. Bro, how many times do I have to kill you? She has a steel pipe. See Katana. Thank <laughs> you. 
He doesn't get stunned. He doesn't get stunned. Oh my. You need to play. You need to play the spacing. Okay. Oh, now she's getting stunned. Only one, though. Oh my. She's fucking wrecking me. I'm red health. Uh, did you know to do it or just try it? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what to do in that. I got the best ending by pure luck, to be honest. The Silent Hill one. Ah, I missed. Maybe kite first. I hit later. Well, let's let's try that again. It looks like that's working. She's fast, though. Let's try to bait the attack, and then we attack. Where are you going? Nice, nice, nice. Let's take, let's take it slow because I'm running out of heals, and I cannot, I cannot play too comfort, confrontational. Or I'm gonna die. Oh man, as I say that, I should block. Yeah, like that. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna have to use one of these. How many shotgun ammo? Okay, I'm gonna use a pistol, I think. How do you miss that? She's going crazy. Okay, we got her. How many times? How many times? Do we have to kill her? She's back. What does she have now? She has uh, some machine gun. She has some machine gun, bro. What the fuck? Could be. Can she run out of ammo? I don't think so, right? She's aiming and not shooting. What a bitch. He's scoring. Don't get up! Nope! Nope! Do I have time to do this? Oh man, she hits me melee! No! This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Actually, let's use this. Bro! This game is telling me, get good. Get good, bro. Ooh, the retaliation. I had to block first. Yeah, you had to block. She's dead, she's dead. Maybe I have to redo this fight because I wasted so much ammo on heals. Oh, we got it, we got it. We got it. Stop punching yourself. Killing my evil version of myself. What is this thing? It would be better if for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it's birth, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endure in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that, since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Wow. So I'm guessing that sick room is either the hospital room she was in after burning, or the place in the church where she was getting burned by her mother and the rest of the cult. So maybe this, this enemy that was us is the manifestation of the other decision we could have taken, which is just die, basically. It's like the 
yeah, the darker versions of herself, right? I'm not sure if that's the correct interpretation, but that's how I think about it. Because it was saying, if Pius died, all the pain will end, right? Which is a very pessimistic view. So that was that version of it. Ew, nasty. What the fuck is this? Okay. Staying by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows with, within us. Only you can heal these goons. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. So I'm guessing this is either Claudia's or the cult trying to make this god exist or give birth to this god. I, gi I give to you and reservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure you beside me. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise. O oh Lord, we will not give into the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Yeah. O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, show us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. Maybe these are like revival verses or... I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going. There's something written on the door. The, this door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Ooh, a church. And Claudia is here, of course. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. I figured it out myself. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Hearing you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Oh! Judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. <laughs> oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Oh, she's speaking for Alessa now. Alessa, your true self. But I am Alessa. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. Alessa, is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. She's playing her game. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Facts. You learn how to deal with that or you go under. Uh oh. You can stay in your own little dream. My control world, is vibrating. But you can't keep hurting other people. Uh oh. Besides, I'll never. Forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! God is growing within you. 
Uh oh. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do. The hatred. The god is filling with the hatred. He's feeling on it. Very subtle. Nice. Good detail. So I guess we can we can uh, assume that Churl, we're going to call her Churl from now. She's somewhat pregnant with uh, that demon thing. I got the Eye of Night Tarot card. Okay, let's save here. Okay. We're going to play Tarot. Oh, the paintings are part of the puzzle, I think. Uh, three people pointing that. Six is faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be open. Okay, I will read all these paintings after I explore them. So that's a puzzle. There is this is where I need to be. There is no reason to go back to the amusement park. Okay. I didn't came to there though. Mm -hmm -hmm. Can I go this way? There's a piano there. We're gonna have another piano puzzle. There's nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is open though. To be honest, Vincent kind of told us to come here to the amusement park because Douglas was here too, right? What is this? Chapel. This is some kind of a map. Okay, church map. Nice map, bro. Is this a confessionary? What is happening? Dear God, please forgive me. Who who is this person? I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly. And with a peaceful heart. Doesn't resemble please. any boys. Maybe Lisa sounds slightly like her, but Let me see my child once within your No, it's not. Gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please. Also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God. I am a child. Trembling with fear as I stare at death. My tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please. Forgive me. Heather is not too, not too comfortable hearing this stuff like me. It's like, what do you do, lady? Maybe this is just a random member of the cult who sacrificed your daughter or something. Say I forgive you. What would you do now? Don't say anything. Uh, what do we say, guys? I think she has to atone herself in the other way. Maybe she she knows she did wrong, so maybe we forgive her. But I don't want her to be completely innocent, you know? Like, she knows she has to do all the stuff, so. I forgive you. Let's see. Mercy! Thank you, Lord. Merciful. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. I wonder if that choice matters for anything. I have the feelings that there is someone on the other side of this door. Well, let's not interrupt them. Well, there's enemies here too. What the freak? Let's see. It's locked. Yeah. They got one tarot card. Oh, what the fuck? Why this monster looks different? person I don't want to look under what where are we oh big boy oh two big boys are you kidding me are you kidding me I don't have much ammo or anything to be honest bro I'm so fucked four bullets I'm so fucked maybe I'm soft locked It's like a hole there. Let's check every room. Okay, no enemies at least. We got handgun bullets. No useful. Nice, the, the camera doesn't... Oh, maybe from there. Uh, cassette tape. <clears throat> I don't know what is this. Oh, the symbol we have been seeing the whole, this whole time. Uh, are they going to explain what it is? There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry, it symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. So they kind of put it in. What if I find a blue symbol? Should I not touch it? That's funny. Okay. Oh no. Let me reset. Oof. We're gonna have to go back eventually, right? Why are there someone walking? Living a blood trail to the painting? There's a picture here of an angel flying into heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture, though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappear beyond it, after all. Will you move the picture of the angel? Yes. Oh, there's a door. Maybe someone is trying to help us. Maybe is this where Alyssa was or something? I don't know, man. This this seems different. Oh, not this guys. Do I have a map for this area? I don't think so, do. Oh, I do have it. This room has a lot of uh, doors. Oh, shit. What? That's the big boy. I don't have stuff to kill this guy. Man, I'm so screwed. 
I'm so screwed. Maybe this guy's less tanky, I hope. In the boss fight. I'm just gonna try to... To get past them. Shit. Now. Oh, the jukes! Come on. Something has to be open here. Oh, he's coming. He's running! The last door is open. I just cannot afford to lose any ammo. A book. There's a book on Tarot. A book on Tarot. Tarot was based on the 22nd Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card, number 0 through 21, has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, wisdom, beginnings of destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Garden Gardner deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardner deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly, transcendental existence. In example, God. Okay. So I guess there's going to be the hint for the... For the paintings and what order we have to put the, the numbers. There's a sheet of paper put, but it's blank. Moon tarot card. Oh, someone is entering the room. I think this is Vincent, right? Yeah. Hiya, Heather. You show up make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. Totally she gives that look like... In the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. Sure. It's not hard to look saner so why did you than Claudius, you know. Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. <laughs> My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. Her facial expressions are so on point. Don't stand there looking so smug. <laughs> You're the worst person in Whoa. this world. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. Are you showing your true face, and, Vincent? And listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you... Step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? 
Hmm? Hmm? Don't worry. It's just a joke. This this is very creepy. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. Yeah, I have it. You mean Let's show it to her. To him. Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Hmm. Here, take this. Is that another book on tarot cards? Wow. The game is trying to play with your mind. As in like, what have we been killing so far? Or is just Vincent just messing with you? Hmm. A book, Older World or Loss. Interesting. Is there anything else in this library? Seven Hills Ancient Gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. <laughs> okay. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own real Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be a given names and descriptions of Christian angels, thus shared characteristics bega uh, began to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serp serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Ugh. One person's god is another person's uh, de devil, right? Heretics! So, cannot do anything here. It's blanked. Do I need to write on it or something? Cassette tape. There is no label, but the task has been removed. It might be worth checking out. Interesting. Book, Older World Lost. A big old book uh, I got from Vincent in the archives. Well, let's see what this is about. The seal of Meta, Meta, Metraton. That word is so hard to say. Metraton. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viron Seventh Crest or the seal of Metraton. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metraton, after the angel Metatron, or Metraton, also known as the Agent of God. Interesting. I guess. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's go. Oh, shit. Need to use this guy again. Ah, fuck. You got me. I think there is nothing else here. Oh, there is an elevator. Huh? This guy in this way have to leave. How much damage did I take there? Oh, fuck. We're fine, we're fine. Is it gonna be there? Is it doesn't doesn't it move? What if I move a little? Will he go away? It is one door that we haven't checked. Let's go there. Okay. Oh, this looks where. The puzzle is gonna be, huh? Saint Nicholas, miraculous hand, a doctor of God. Oh, 
Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And, 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 and I am the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. It's like Alessa holding the baby in the first game. It's both part of Cheryl. Saint Jennifer, I'm wearing faith under death's blade. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to find. Can I put the tarot card in the painting? Or is that. Cannot use that there. The moon. Cannot use it there. So it has to be put somewhere else. This circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on the paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as Alyssa, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Oh. Belfry. Not sure what that is. So. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try... Because... Is there an elevator there? Yeah, it shows there's like a square. Tell me it's not close, please. Oh, shit. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Didn't see me. Can I enter this? Oh, I can. So we have different floors. We have different floors. Oh boy. It's really creepy. What the fuck? Give me the ammo first. All these bodies on the floor wrapped in plastic. What a nightmare. I'm just glad they don't seem about to get up anytime soon. There's one with blood here. Doors open. Inside there's someone wrapping a bag. Maybe not. They're definitely dead. She's looking at something here. Oh! Hangman tarot car. Let's go. There's nothing important here. I haven't looked too closely though. I don't think I want to. Yeesh. And we got ammo and a tarot car. Super worth it. Everything is open here. <laughs> no locked doors. What the hell? What is this? Stun gun battery. Nice. That's big. F6. Oof. That's big. There is a master diary on the bed. What is this apartment? Who was who, who living here? This writing, is this Dad's diary? What will, what will, why will it be here? I sometimes have the sense even now that that girl's a reincarnation of Alyssa. I don't worry about it too much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alyssa? Now Cheryl is Alyssa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was a less after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Oh, that's, that's nice. Nothing happens when I try to see this here. Is there a place where I can play the, the cassette? 
Because my eyes are like, uh, 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 what's that? Is there a VGS player here or something? So we're going to... Let me try, but I don't think it's going to work. It's because it's VHS, not for cassette. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's enemies there now. No, Jew, man. Go. Are you fucking kidding me? They're still fun. I don't have to come back here ever again, I think so. Unless I had to play a tape. There's more of these guys here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's be. Ooh, let's go. Free door. Where the fuck am I, man? This music. Go, go, go. These sounds of Fergus are so scary. Doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going. So there's one door that I haven't checked. Ooh. Oh, these guys against. Why are they like like that? I don't, I don't get it. Must, must have a meaning, but maybe we're stopped seeing them as monsters, like Vincent said, and we're seeing them more like blurry or like. Secret door. Well, I don't know who's guiding me or helping me, but maybe it's myself. Maybe it's Alessa. I don't like the sounds that are coming from there. Ah. Okay. Oh, this is Alessa's hospital room. Wow. Ooh, they're giving us a lot. There is looks like there's some kind of drug here. There is just a name on the label, no description or anything. It's too risky, never mind. I cannot read what it says though. Another book. There is something stuck in this book. Another cool tarot card. Uh, this book, something, something. I feel like I had to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Aglaud Fotis. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. So this is the red liquid that uh, Dahlia broke on the hospital and we got a little bit of the battle and we could dispel the evil spirit in civil and it's the same red liquid that Kaufman had in that battle in the motorbike and he he threw to Alessa right yeah it may be vaporized or applied as poultice to guard against demons it is powerful but as it is rare it is extremely difficult to obtain yeah for sure 24 years ago, Mo, she, she was going to say mother. Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't, couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this, in this hospital room. I stayed here until dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away 
at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. The reason I love this game so much and it's my favorite Silent Hill game is because it takes everything from the first game and it, it builds on top as a continuation. And it has the best of both, I think. I just love it so much. Two big heals. Bro, the game is giving me so much. The, ga the game is giving me so much. I really needed that. It's a picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do it. I was always like that back then. I mean, she was getting bullied on the school, etc. Right? Interesting. Picture here, but it's not my style at all. Ah, uh, so let's go. I f I f this whole part of the game is kind of forgotten in my memory. Let's see. I still have to check the door on the left. There is an enemy there, though. Wait, I think... That part... That path is blocked. I'm just gonna go back. I believe... It's not possible to reach that door. There's three now! No need to kill them. There is one door I haven't checked, right? Two doors I haven't checked. A locked one. It's been a while. This one. And this is the Alessa's bedroom. It's a key here. Brass key. This looks like another Harry's note. Let's read it. <clears throat> hmm, I made my book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this evil chit chat. God. I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written some 17 years ago. It looks like that wrote this too. Man, it's showing respect for the first game. And like, even like, honoring it in some way, right? Oh, I missed the, I missed the dialogue, I'm sorry. He's showing that side of Harry that he was a true a true hero. The sketchbook. Drawing block. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, here's a picture of dad. Really awful work. What's he doing here? Memories. Callbacks. The door sure does rattle, but it struck tight a secret is hidden out of your sight you may be thinking what could it be you will need five magic cards if you want to see what to do then with all this i'll tell you straight and i won't tease just as long as you say please now the first thing you must know is that there is something in each row but this that is not the half of it three will be too hard to fit the upside down man under the ground to his right to his left there is no one around Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full of crescent floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying the God, to God Most High, do you think you can tell me why? You always look up at the night sky. Do you have it now? You didn't forget. One major point you must not omit. And now, at the last before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing on the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you will keep it in sight. So you will open the door, I'm just sure the, that there will be nothing beyond it. 
but if frightened Pearl, forget about that, just stay and play, or else I'll be left here alone all day. Holy riddle. Holy li riddle. <clears throat> My clothes from when I was seven, they don't fit me now. The same too. <laughs> so here is the door. And we have to put the cards here. I don't think I have them all though. Hanged man, moon, fool, eye of the night. So I said the, the hanging man is at the bottom with no one around, right? But the others I don't remember. Did I leave anything behind? I never checked that door. I never checked that door either. That door was locked. And that door was locked too. What about that thing with the three paintings? Hmm. Let me see. How many cards do I need? Five. I need five. And I have four. So I need to find one more tarot card. Let's explore. I have to go back. I guess I have to, to explore this door. There's two big boys here. Yeah, no. That, that path is blocked. Okay. So not there. Maybe the last door on the right there. I didn't find any place to to check the, the cassette tape, right? That's a problem. <clears throat> oh no. Bro, how does that hit me? I was so far away. What? Okay. Hmm. What am I missing, man? It's <laughs> not Lex blocking the way. Fucking hell, man. Bro, you hitting me from there? I'm dead, man. 
this is so bad. I think I need to reload. <laughs> I just lost so much. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is everything different? Hello? Use the brass key. I even forgot I got that key, to be honest. Oh, it's gonna be the crawling guys. What the fuck is that guy doing there? Okay, we need to kill this guy. Hello, man. Is someone behind me? What the fuck are you doing here, man? How did, where did that guy came from? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the classroom. We're just going through like Alessa's uh, memories. Aren't we? Welcome, man. How are you, man? Yeah, look at this. Like in the first game. Go home, drop dead, thief, witch. This used to be a lessus. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. There's a ratty old notebook on the podium. Oops, and there's a ledger stuck in here too. Let's see. There is a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they call a witch. Most likely, her mother is abusing her. I have never seen her come in without some sort of scrap or bruise. Her expression is pitiful, dark for a six years old. Oof. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. No. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I would ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Kate Gordon. Oh, Kate Gordon was the guy we got the key in the first game. Right? Yeah. Kate Gordon. So I'm guessing it was the teacher of Alessa's in the school or something. Interesting. And he tried to help somehow. Wait, where am I? Okay. I got past the fatty boy. And this place? Oh, we can play the cassette here. What are these letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions? People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent. Father Vincent? So Vincent was a priest? Using the organization monies for his own personal benefit. Ooh, corrupted. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm not a uh, place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we, of, uh, shouldn't we be evaluated not for our limited talents or our tall catechnics, but for the depth of our faith? LS. Who is LS? Not sure. I really needed this silly. Thank you, game. Uh, welcome, Dennis. An adorable map. I think that map was uh, made by Alessa. For such a creepy game. True. Okay, let's play this. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? Maybe they are... You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. 
but God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. It is now. That's it, huh? Who is this person they are no. interrogating? Thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Is this Claudia and Vincent? Vanessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Oh, it's not Claudia. Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Hmm. This kind of thing reminds me a lot because they are focusing a lot now on the on their religious cult. It reminds me a lot of the Silent Hill movies. Have you guys watched those? I will say the first one is eh. The second one is awful though. But the first one is decent, I'll say. Why is this fucking place, bro? Is there anything here? What is that biggest room? I'm gonna check this one. If I don't find the tarot card here, I don't know what to do. Found it. <laughs> High Priestess Tarot card. Let's go. It is an old birthday car on the desk. Not again with the birthday, man. That was so creepy. So she was still hanging on to this. Happy birthday. To little Claudia. Happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Who 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 did that to? Because Dahlia is not in this game, right? Is she? I'm not sure. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. Uh, we're like unraveling a lot of a uh, backstory from everyone. November 10th. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I would really like to see her. November 14th. Read the book of praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I've been searching for in there. How to awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees. And John Slave's Child Exploitation. Holy shit, what a cheerful book, bro. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this war. I can't do anything now, though, and that's what I, what's hard. She was really trying hard to be someone. Be the chosen one, just like her father delusions, and to find her. Her final mission was to find uh, Heather. No, that was a mistake. Go around. <laughs> now, Pyramid Head is not in this game. Look at those shadows. Look at those shadows, guys. <laughs> That's really cool. Or stand smoke. <laughs> That's funny. Holy shit. So we have all the tarot cards. Now my question is Let me go back here for a second. I wanna check the paintings.
Second one is abysmal. Yeah, the second movie is yeah. too stressful and they started taking away incentives or something. Oh, the car, the car place you're talking about. Let's see. One, origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They dispersed, stuck in the eternal quagmire. Bro, this is so fucked. The origin. Two, birth. That looks like Adan and Eva. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sun that does, uh, had overrun the earth, God was born from those two people. I mean, you can make any fucking version you want. Origin birth. Salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God aligned the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. Okay. Origin, birth, salvation. Creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, Chu Chilbara, the yellow god, Lopsel Beef. Many gods and angels. Finally, God set out to create paradise where people will be happy just by being there. Yes. <clears throat> Fifth promise. But there is God's strength. Uh, there, God's strength run out, and she collapsed. All the world's people grieve his uh, this unfortunate event. Yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. That was salvation, right? Was it? Promise. Salvation was four. Maybe I'm getting confused already. And here she gets reborn, right? No, faith. Uh, yeah. Does this have anything to do with anything? <laughs> That's my question. I guess for the door puzzle, but what about the other big red circle mini chapel thingy? Wait, can I play the piano? Let me try again. I don't think it works, though. Nope. Okay, so let's go back to Alessa's bedroom and try to solve the tarot cards puzzle. Okay. Uh, you will need five magic cards. All right. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight. I don't know. I won't tease you. Just looking at this, please. First thing you must know is that there is something in each row. So all rows have to have a card. Good. But that is not the half of it. The three will be too hard to fit. So no rows can have more than three. No row ha can have all three fooled. Oh, that's a good hint. Upside down man, the hanging man, under the ground. To his right, to his left, there is no one around. So in the three by three, let's say it's a numpad. Let's say it's a numpad, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The hanging man, the upside down man is number eight. Okay. Number eight. And on number seven, there is nothing. And on number nine, there is nothing. Because it says nothing to his right, nothing to his left. Okay? Yeah. The moon is above the sky. Full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling lights like it sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. So maybe the moon is on number three on the top. Or it could be one, it could be one, two, or three. Sorry, I meant two. The moon is on number two. Middle top. 
and it sees like a crown. So the moon is on top of a crazy clown. The crazy clown could be the fool. So let's say fool is number five. Let's let's say that for now. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, uh, most high. Do you think you can tell me why? You always look up at the night sky. So the high priest is either four or six next to the fool because she's looking up to the sky, but she doesn't see the moon. So I'm guessing priest is either four or six. And since no rose can have three, that means the last card has to be on the top. It has to be either one or three. One more point you must not me. Now that the last before you were, there's one more hint to keep you track. So I'm missing the eye of the night. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not your, on your right. It's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it inside. So I'm guessing the eye of night is one. Uh, let's try. So I one, moon two, priest four or six, I think it's six, pool is five, and hanging is eight. Have you guys followed the logic of the riddle? I think this is a very good riddle. Okay. Let's see. Uh it, you can move it and it tells you which one you're selecting. The moon. Is on top of the sky, like the riddle said, and below the moon was the fool, the uh, the clown thingy. The priestess was next to it, looking up to the sky, and the eye of night was on the first. Did I get it? It's locked. I didn't get it. Oh! So, another solution is to put the moon on three. And switch, switch the the switch these two basically. That didn't work either. So what if the priest is looking at the at the eye of the night? Is unlocked. There you have it. We're going, boys. <clears throat> oh shit! They're chanting. They're chanting for their god's resurrection. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Look at this camera angle. It's so fucking creepy. At least the red light is not coming for me. Fifty-one bullets, sixteen shotgun, two heels. What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. <laughs> when did you stop believing in God? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. Sure you haven't, bro. You think that this is the work of God? He's right on that. This is all nothing more than your own personal nightmare, just like less than 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again. Discussing with a religious person, be like, Who do you 
think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent. Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way... Then you'll kill me? Well... <laughs> Sorry, I'm late to the party. Party started. <laughs> Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. Oh shit. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell. Oh fuck. Shall let your guard down. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Vanessa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. She got a point. Happy people can be so cruel. Twisted as fuck. It's so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering. Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? I'd rather go to hell. Oh! You kill Harry, bitch. To try to hasten the day of her arrival, sacrifices were made. Those are my sins. You cannot atone for those. Reverse Uno card. The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh, that's just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Mm. Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Oh damn. She's uh murder. But God loves even you. Are you projecting? <laughs> Keep projecting. Uh 
Uh oh. Nope. Shut your stinking mouth, bitch! Oh! <laughs> All right, now the game let us play, and we're gonna use an item that we're holding since the beginning of the game, and that our dad Harry gave us the pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasure belongings. Examine. There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. <laughs> when I asked Dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. I wonder why I feel sick inside when I look at it. Use. I'm guessing the, the red jewel is the same red liquid. That we used to get the rid of the demon. Yeah. What are you doing? Dad. That is your little shit Peter's God. What is this? Abortion. <laughs> I just aborted God. Looks like God didn't make it. Oh shit. She's eating it. She's gonna try to give birth to it herself. Lessa, you cannot kill God. I will. I will birth God. Yeah, you do it. Good luck. Go for it. Slay. Shit. Can she actually do it? Fucking shoot her! Cheryl.
Well, where did the Vincent body go? <laughs> it's time to kill a god. Let's go. Now, this fight is hard as fuck. Well, let's see how it goes. I don't have many heals or bullets, so. Yikes. Alessa. Well, Cloud is dead. Can't be dead. I was going to kill you. It's okay. Oh, shit. So, we're going to do pistol for this. And shotgun now on the face. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of switching here. And I'm also gonna be really great with uh, my heals. She's still hitting me like melee. Two bullets to bring her down. It's enough, apparently. Cover? I, I don't have time to to cover there. Maybe we do from from far there, so she does the fire instead. Uh, at this rate, I'm gonna run out of ammo. Okay. I'm gonna do this. See how much ammo they have. 36 and 9. It's not too bad. Maybe I'm playing too aggressive. Let's do more damage. Let's do safe damage first. And then we do risky damage. Can I take one more hit? I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I didn't die. I'm missing. Fucking die! Ah, that was bad. Oh, 
I want to use a shotgun. How many bullets do I have? I don't know. Five left. Ah, that was bad. Do I need to heal again? I do. I don't have more heals. Shit, this is bad. If I do this and then run. Or cover, cover. No. It's not worth it. I don't take any more damage. Oof, that was so close. That was too close. No! Oh! Yeah, that was not. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. You need a lot of ammo for this fight. Like a lot. And suddenly I don't have that much. Fucking got her! Let's go, second try, not too bad. That was literally probably my last bullet. Like Nietzsche said, God is dead. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Is it over? Is that the end? Is it? Guess it's time to roll the credits. <laughs> oh. Dad. Now she's letting all the feelings she has been holding Dad. out. Dad. Repressive feelings. Repressed. What an amazing character, man. We did it! Oh, let's go. GG. Back to the amusement park. Can we leave this cursed town now? And all the crazy people in it? You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, Douglas still alive. Heather. Is it really That's not my name. Not yet. You're still alive. What the? <laughs> what the? <hell>? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> I love that moment. You've got Terrible I'm sorry. Never lose your humor, guys. Heather, did you... you don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. Cheryl Mason. The name my father gave me. Exactly. Are you going to let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? <laughs> 
Oh, one. Even in the worst moments, she still keep that spark. That youth. Is that it? Anything else? Oh, there you go. So this Silent Hill 1 song that started at the beginning of the game. Wow. Credits? Hello? Oh. We need to change the render. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Yeah. I knew it. Well! Uh, look at Cheryl at uh, Harry's Mason Grave. Wow. This game is a masterpiece in so many aspects. I prefer this over too. I don't know why. But I, I find that Cheryl a lot more likable than James. I sure James' story is amazing with Maria and everything, but. I, don't know, I just really like, especially being a continuation from the first game, linking both stories. And this is truly the sauce of Silent Hill. It's truly explaining everything behind what happened in this town and why everything is happening. I, I found it really cool. Um, I really like the the job they did on the research, looking for like religion and ancient uh, references to put in the game. Because at the end of the day, we're all humans, and we all have that, uh, I guess you can call it primitive or ancient horror fear. We all know those, we all know those terms of like God, creation, demons, evil. It's like a something built within us kind of thing. So, uh, trading that topic and building a story about that, I think it's very cool. This is a fucking crazy story, don't take me wrong, but I think it's very well put together. And this game is a lot less subtle than 2 or 1. It's a lot more horror on your face, but I like it. It also has subtle horror sometimes, but yeah. Heather is pretty much the one and only innocent downhill character, or one who doesn't deserve to be there for what she's done. What about Harry, though? Harry just rescued a baby on the side of the road and got dragged into all this madness. I, mean, I don't think Harry did anything wrong. He's actually like a, a pretty good guy, I would say. A loving father, a loving husband. Just wanted, even, even he said that one moment when he rescued Cheryl the second time that she was. Uh, not very confident of the precedence and the will of that baby, of their existence, because at the end of the day, it kind of was born from questionable places, right? And he said, he put, he kind of strangled the baby. Not really. They're the ones who got dragged into the situation, yeah. And I love how she's, yeah, like I was saying before, she always kept her sense, her personality, Heather. Has so many, like, different layers, I would say. She's super aware of something is wrong, something about her past she quite not remember. As you go along the game, she remembers more and more and more. Until finally, she kind of is the other half of Alyssa, but she doesn't share the whole Claudia and Vincent vision, of course. And how she goes through those phases, but always keeping a wall of defenseness, a sense of humor, and at the same time, like a like a cocky attitude, you know? I, I, I really love that. Because if she wasn't like that, she would have crumbled uh, before all this pressure, and she would have just given up, I think. So I think 
is the perfect personality for for the character. And I also love how she seems uh, like she cares about other people. She's she has a good soul, you can say, especially uh, regarding Harry. Yeah. Hmm. Anything after credits? What do you guys think? Have you guys played any Silent Hill games? Which one is your favorite? Okay. Uh, we played on normal. We finished the game in five hours. It was more than that, but it only takes count what you save and all. Flip Warren. These are the bosses. How 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 long it took us to kill the bosses? Thirty-nine saves. How many times did I die? How many times did I die? Like three? I died on the final boss and I also died on the train twice, right? Yeah, those those were funny. And I got a rank of I think the big stars are ten and the small ones are one. So I got fifty-five stars. Extra new game has been added. I got the beam saber. Extra costumes. Look at this, guys. No DLCs. You unlock things by playing the games. What, what a time that was to live in, huh? Late 90s, early 2000s. I think that was the golden era of video games, if I'm honest. Happy birthday. Fuck you. <laughs> Woo. But yeah. I think we can close the game. Uh, Akira Yamaoka did it again. The soundtrack is superb. There's so many scary sounds. The characters are good. Are good. Vincent is creepy as fuck. Douglas is at the beginning is like Zeus, but then he helps you. So I guess he redeems himself. Uh, Claudia is just Dahlia in this game, basically. Claudia is a crazy witch bitch. <laughs> But she has many interesting uh, dialogues. I really like how she's super convinced on everything. And I also like how they give you context about the the orphanage in Silent Hill. And she probably got abused and brainwashed by Leonard, right? She's a victim at the end of the day. But she gone too far. You cannot save her. She's just super twisted. But yeah, uh, I guess all Silent Hills kind of dig and explore the topics of trauma, chill abuse, uh, religion, cults, and hope at the end of the day. And love too, right? Uh, so yeah, I think I give this game a 9 out of 10. Easily. Easily 9 out of 10. And probably one of my favorite games ever made. It's so good. GG's voice. But yeah. I'm going to call it for today, guys. Thank you for being here, for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Have a good rest of the evening. Bye-bye.